Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and there's an Amazon store and there's also some links and if you like this video hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Hit that notification bell and likes, comments, and questions are always welcome. Okay, let's get rolling. So I've got my Blanco, we got my Cranberry and just let's go for it. So I kind of want this to start out in the middle. <clears throat> yeah, I just want to start out in the middle. So I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to do, because if the flower's sitting like this, you can see these back petals. I'm going to do those first. So I'm going to do something a little weird with this. I just want some up like that. Don't really like that, but let's just hit that. There. <clears throat> All right, that's good. Or at least that's my thinking. Alright. So this one. See how that just a little bit creates. <clears throat> Hopefully a, a layering effect there. I may not be getting as much as I was hoping, but oh well, it's going to be pretty. Okay, <clears throat> there's that. Um, the next thing I want to do is do the leaves. I'm not sure how I'm going to go in there and kind of indicate that you're looking, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. may not do anything. It may be just that I'm happy with it, and I kind of am. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to do um, sap green. I'm going to do a blue, so I'm just going to put a blue down here, and a brown. Okay, so I've got those. And what I'm wanting to do is like maybe put half of it in that and just touch the back to it in brown. <clears throat> and... You know, go with it. Don't change it. Because even though I'm like, ah, it, it's going to be pretty. I come back the next day and look at stuff and go, oh, uh, okay, why did I hate that? So, yeah, don't, don't. Just have fun with it. Yeah. 
There we go. I like that one. I'm winging this. I really don't have a plan. Well, that didn't do well at all. Well, that don't feel good. <clears throat> okay. There's a point I'm just going to stop. Okay. So, I've messed up right there. <clears throat> I might can go back over and hit that. So, I'm good. I'm good with that. I kind of like it when I do things like that. One, because, well, it's already done. Two, it just it just does something. I don't know. It just does something. This one I'm wanting to mess with a little bit over here. <laughs> All right. So, we're good. We're done. Um, I might do a couple down. Oh, yeah, I like that. I am not even putting this down all the way, but you know what? Go with it. It's not doing too bad. Okay. <clears throat> I'm done. Now, up here, I just don't know. Uh, I think what I might do is get in here. I'm going to get some black. might pick out some of these ridges to kind of indicate these are the petals and this is just some of the center sticking up I just feel like I need something and I'm following what line is there I'm getting little dots. I think there's an acrylic pen. It's not Posca, but it'll do. On these, you have to push down on them and kind of get them primed up a little bit. But I'm just going to go haphazardly over. So some of this will kind of show up. So I'm going to need some red, a little bit of tiny bit of blue, and a little bit of black to darken this up a little. Very little black, like almost none. Oh, I may not need black. 
Don't let go. You know, that's that's pretty close without it. I kind of just want to darken it an inkling. There we go. Perfect. All right. Cool. And I only do this to really fill in some of that white. Because look at the difference. Now this is one that I've already done. I am not loving it. I did these things. Didn't like it. So, but there's nothing here. I kind of wish there was something. I might go back and splat this, but I don't know. Um, but I was playing and I thought, well, that, that's kind of fun. Um, so yeah, there it is. Let me get it dried. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take my Kmar and we'll spray it on there. Now, some people I've been reading are having trouble with this. Make sure you have this at least a foot, no closer. I, un, unless you want those effects and that doesn't happen when I use the, um, white, the Blanco in here, it'll affect this here. Um, no. It'll affect when there's alcohol and the ink together. But if you do this too close, it just, it messes with it. Just, it just messes. So I hold it mm, that far. So we're talking 12 to 15 inches. So when I spray, I'm like this, if you can get an idea of that distance so yeah try that if not if this isn't your in your area you can use a clear acrylic um i mean they have those in the paint section they're pretty usually cheap or some type of clear um if you want to protect it you can use the uv protectant on them or um there's a triple glaze you can use so anything clear that's just going to seal it up that's all you need. Okay, so here's another little handy tool. It's a Revlon. It has brushes on the end. Yeah, toss them. So they have three settings. It has a high volume cool, low volume heat, and a high volume heat. Really handy. Okay. And what I use to blow this, <clears throat> sorry I didn't tell y'all anything, uh, is the Tim Holtz blowing tool love it and then uh, this is a Princeton um, spatula basically um, but yeah catalyst it's it's the number four oh four mini love it okay so I'm gonna go cut this in half because we are doing two cards okay so there we are now there's our little flower there we go Oh, I, cut, I was going to say, I cut these wrong, but I did, and I wanted, it, they're fine. <laughs> All right, now I have, I pre-cut a lot of these. And these, for a 9 by 4 is, of course, you cut a big 8 by 9 and then on the eight one is where you fold it so you have four it's really handy if you have flat surface you can just push this up on if not just fit it together Now, I'll flatten these back out so I can put my card on easier. Now, something I noticed I don't know about y'all. I cannot find double-sided tape without it being ridiculously high. So I have had to, um, 
I had to figure this out. Now I will put this is down. I will put this in the description. Um, it's just it's a sticky. There's it's sticky right there. But when you pull it off, it's just gummy. If there's not actually any tape, it's just sticky stuff. Whoops, I'm just gonna do the wrong thing. Look at that. So it's just, it's just sticky. I mean, it's, it's like that. It's just weird. Just weird. But it works. It's very strong. Now you can put it like this <clears throat> and then just peel that up if you want and keep tearing it off. Or you can just tear it and then pull up each individual. But it comes in a box of these. It's not bad price, so... I'll definitely put it down in the description. And you can peel it off like that. So anyway, it's very sticky. Now these I cut 3.75. So 3 inches and 3 quarters by 8.5. And that's going to give you a little bit more. You could go a little bit more than eight and a half if you wanted your sides and your tops to be exactly the same, but it's not really a, <clears throat> a thing for me. This isn't a bad way to do it. I have been doing it just tearing it each piece. And that's fine too, but either way. I like to try different things. Now what you can do, this just adds a little fun to it, is after you get it on your card, then splat it. Leave it open like that. Splat the whole thing. <laughs> it just adds a little fun. All right. <clears throat> so there. That's our two cards. All right. So there you go. Now, y'all go have fun. <laughs>